Well, I, I hope you're able to continue to come on Fridays. And uh, if you do continue to come on Fridays, I, I don't be surprised if I'm not here because I've got another job that's, that require me to be at work. They, they're willing to pay me, but they expect me to be to work. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> One of those. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what so, guys doing? My hours are working in the middle of the day, so I won't be able to make it here on Fridays, but I will be available on, you know, of course, Wednesday nights are still open. Except okay, next do. Wednesday, when you go to the COBA meeting. Right. Yeah, doesn't look like they've done anything with that. They, they have, these have only been on since Wednesday evening. And I did not expect, because we don't have any honey flow bees are starting to come up in here, but they're not up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, feed this hive a little bit later on. But I'm going to borrow some frames from this Illinois on our uh, double D pipe and put some of those frames in that over into this colony and this colony. <coughs> and the reason I would rather do that is because uh, this colony here is probably one of our strongest hives. And instead of harvesting any honey from this hive this year, yeah, well, it's going to be rather heavy when you lift this thing off, too. Or maybe not. Well, maybe so. Let's move the, uh, some weight? Yeah, there's some weight there. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do... Cut the ridge comb out if anybody's saving comb. What do you do with it? Uh, put it into like a bucket and save it till you get enough to uh, um, melt some wax down. Oh, okay. A lot of people just oh, I didn't thought about that. Uh, toss it out on the ground and just leave it go. Wax is valuable. But you have to have enough of it to make it worthwhile. You do have to make enough. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the queen on each frame that we move over. And then we'll move this up on top. And, and quite a bit of brood out of that. Yes. Yeah. This will strengthen this hive here. This hive here got a real bad start. Everything's fine. So does it cause course. any problems if you move the bees and the brood over there? No. Yeah. So shouldn't cause mm -hmm. Now this is mostly live here. Okay, Queen should be probably pretty close by here. I'd rather see her before we... Yep. There's a lot of egg here too. A lot of eggs, so she's somewhere in the area. This one should be marked, isn't she? Yes. I've got eggs here, too. You have eggs there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to find her before we move her. I agree. It's just, this hive is producing drones. You see the drone cells? Yep. Mm -hmm. That is That's always a sign when you see drone cells this late in the year that this hive is going well. We've got eggs here. Yeah, are you kind of watching for mites too when you're doing this? Yes, if I see a mite on a on bee, I'll point her out to you. There's a nice drone, a couple nice drones on this frame. Young bees and older bees. Bees just emerging. Do you want any honey? This is uh, no, I'd, I'd prefer to leave that for the bees this year. This is uh, a lot of larvae, brood on one side and larvae and honey on the other. Yep. These bees have been able to draw out comb, which has been great. Okay. When you lean those up against each other, do you worry about squishing them? No. They just, not that much pressure or they get out of the way? Uh, it's possible to squash them. Well, being close to the end of the year, you're going to leave that to the outside versus trying to have Let's it see, what, what 
Uh, we would leave this on the top. We're going to take this box off, Terry, and uh, we will. This is what our Friday bee yard really is for, is to do an examination. I'd say next week we don't have to worry about the bee yard. Uh, and from here on out, probably every two weeks, come on Friday. Fridays? Yeah. Okay. You got to make that uh, the first and third or the second and fourth. What do you guys think? I'm going to be in New York visiting a granddaughter next Friday, so okay. I won't be here. Good population of bees. Yeah. There's a lot of bees in there. Put away on the outside frames. No queen. As as winter comes, do you move that honey in closer to the middle so they can get at it? Um, if there is no honey uh, in the hive, you've got to feed this this colony doesn't have much honey. Oh, there's a lot of drones. Yeah, so this is another one of those frames that oh, okay. was substituted. Okay. Yeah. And that's a teaching situation where uh, you can see you can put medium comb into a deep and the bees will still continue but below the worker cells you'll find all drone comb. There are a lot of people who will dry buy drone comb to use to trap the raw mite. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You can start a little strip of worker comb right at the top of a deep frame. They'll complete the rest of it in drone cells. And then you could actually harvest that drone comb. Uh, in this particular case, you'll notice that there are wires supporting the middle of this frame so it doesn't really fall down. It's partially wired. There's well, quite a few drones on this thing. Oh, there's a lot of drone coming right here. Mm -hmm. And there's some here. But yeah. So this that's really the sign of a pretty healthy hive. Isn't it? Yes. A good healthy hive will have drones. That's the drone. Right? Mm -hmm. See they're feeding each other right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't see any eggs down here. So let's go over two more frames. If we don't find the queen on either one of those frames in the center. And we don't find any brood. Then we'll move into that upper box where she probably is. That upper box has got to be It's a very heavy. It seems like it's all There's no brood on this frame. No eggs. What do you have on that one, Terry? Nothing. Well, yeah, I have some uh, larva right there. You do? I don't see any eggs, so. Okay, well, larva is young enough to... Mm-hmm. No, there's an egg. Yeah, there's some eggs here. Okay, so the queen could be here. Mm -hmm. Next to the queen. Larva here. You got a what kind of a cell do you have there? Uh, it's just a cup. Nothing's in it. 